On the air, idiots. 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 Yo. Buckshot, what's going on? Chilling, chilling, chilling. Now, Buckshot, we, we lost a hip-hop legend today. Rock Raider, rest in peace to Rock Raider, you know. Can you shed some light on what Rock Raider brought to hip-hop? Um, a lot of DJs today, once again, you know, they don't know what it is to be a disc jockey, a DJ. You know, somebody who puts on records and, and, and creates, you know, the way we create beats and rhymes with our mouth and our mind. DJs create songs and mixes with their mind and their hands. And Rock Raider, you know, contributed heavy, heavily, heavily to keeping the DJs on point. A lot of DJs lost their way. Right. That's why so many people got respect for Rock Raider. You can't get respect unless you give respect. Right. And Rock Raider has given respect, you know, for all of us, the whole industry. When the whole industry knows you, uh, it really is not a thing about the public knowing you and Trent, you know, we don't, we're not worried about that. We lost a family member because we as the hip hop community truly is like a big giant family. And, 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 and look, families, when they get so big, they don't know each other like that. We're not going to know every family member, but if we go to another genre, we are going to be family because they'll stick you right where they stick me. They'll go, you guys are hip hop, go on Capitol Hill. I bet you they won't see no difference between Buckshot, Craig G and nobody. Right, right. Survival skills out now. How'd you link up with KRS? I know you guys are on the same label. You guys are both on Duck Down. What made you guys come together and say, hey, we're going to do an album together? Um, we, we, we've been trying to work together on the album for a long, for a long time. We always been doing a lot of shows, so it was just a matter of time until we actually put together an album and went in the studio and did that. I uh, knew KRS wanted for about... Uh, over 15 years before KRS one to come to me and tell me he liked my music was incredible. Uh, to see me on stage and to say he liked my stage show was even more incredible. So getting used to being able to be around Chris and work with him was was was, uh, was an incredible thing. And doing shows and tearing it down, he said, "Buck, let's get together and make this bigger." I said, "Let's do an album." He said, "Let's go tomorrow." I said, "Let's go." We went in. We got producers. We went with got producers like Illmind, Coptic, Tri Crisis, Knife One, Havoc from Off Deep. We got all the featured artists at Talib, Kwali, K9, Mary J. Blas. Now, let me ask you this, because you guys got the song Robot, and, 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 and that touched on a lot of things, and one of them being the, the whole auto-tune thing. So what was your reaction when Jay-Z came out with the DOA, and but you guys already had the robot out there? Um, I wasn't surprise that happens to buckshot a lot i'm the unseen boss i'm the person that's been around this game for 18 years you know none of those guys got a label anymore no disrespect to Hov. I, I don't even want to say that about Hov. i mean they, they all they all are friends of mine and at the same time friends of mine you know Dwayne Wade and Kobe is friends you know when they get on the court it's a competition yes because they want to win they want to do the best that they can so you know shout out to everybody who had a label at one point in time and they sold it you know I could have sold up down for a couple of million you know you know that wasn't my route you know and, and as far as anybody having the same concept that I do you know when I come out with a record that's been happening, you know, throughout the years. I don't really beef with nobody. I just say we happen to think alike, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. If you look at it like stealing from Buckshot, taking from Buckshot, or even influenced by Buckshot, or even just doing the same things that Buckshot think about, that's a blessing, you know? For me to have, you know, Stay Real and Jay-Z to have PSA, you know, for me to have, you know, Robot, for him to have DOA, the list could go on and on and on, but I think the best thing, blessing is the fact that, you know, Tupac, Called Buckshot, respect Buckshot, called him to live with him and do an album. I'm, I rock with the best of the best, you know, and I want everybody to know that underground doesn't mean broke, you know what I mean? Because I got plenty of money. But right. I, don't, don't think that. Right, right. Yeah, Cat, Cat's got a misconception about underground artists. Like, they don't have a fan base or something when, you know, Cat's like yourself, KRS-One, even Immortal Technique, Jedi Mind Tricks. I mean, you guys tour and make money. Yeah, yeah, you know. I mean, Karis One, you know, set the pace back in the days. You know what I'm mean? saying? Um, you know, he he let everybody know back in the days what it was pretty much all about. You know, we ain't had to be on that jury. You know, we had to be on that cars and this and the third. It's not that we don't have them. It's that I don't have to keep flashing at somebody's grill to make them believe that I'm about something. 
Right, right. And that's my point. Like, dog, I'm about something because I'm worldwide traveling. No, I'm doing this. I've been first. You got to get to where I've been, or you can talk about where I'm at. I, I give you and Drew Ha a lot of respect for Duck Down and just taking a little history trip, little journey. You guys started it as a management company in '94, transformed it into a label, and then you know signed that deal with Priority, and then Priority dropped you guys in 2000. You guys continued, and now Priority isn't even around anymore. Yeah, Priority is not around. You know, MCA is not around. TVT is not around. Columbia is not around. You know, J Records. Remember J Records? Ha ha ha. You know, remember Epic? Wow. You know. Uh, you know, all but these, Duck Down is still here. The Duck Down so stabilization is basically because of the Buckshot mind frame, True High mind frame, Chunky Dunky mind frame, Know How. All of us add our pieces together. We are a true unit. And I think the rest of those guys and those other people are just companies that fire and hire, refire and hire every other week that somebody new working. And you still see Chunky Dunky. You still see, you know, Know How, Drew High, you know what I'm saying? Help the Skelter, Slip for West, and all those guys still here. Right. How did you link up with Tupac? I mean, we, you know, everybody was dancing Tupac when he went to jail from the New York area, area, and we bigged him up. We said, hold your head up, Pac. Don't be affected by it. And Pac got out of jail and said, I'm going to call all the real dudes that bigged me up when I was locked up. They called Smith West and we called us and we went down and we knocked down, you know, knocked down an album. A lot of people don't know Buckshot's history, you know, but when you went, if you don't know Buckshot's history, that's your fault. And I want to tell a lot of fans the same thing. When you see Buckshot out there and you say, yo, are you still doing music? What happened to the game? Yo, remember this, fans. The game don't fall off. Fans do. Fans are the ones who start saying, I don't even listen to rap no more. I don't even turn on the radio. I don't even watch TV. That's what fans do. The game is still going to keep going on without you. So... I want people to be conscious of that, you know what I mean? Because in order for survival skills, the Karis one and Bucks had an album come out today or this week and, you know, have Mary J. Blige on there, you know, without, you know, on the strength, you know what I mean? Talib Kweli, you know, Farrell March. These people wouldn't do stuff with me if I wasn't respected. And that, ain't, that, that don't go out to you. That goes out to the people who are like, who is Buckshot? Who is that? And what he doing? Where he been at? Right, right. You know what I mean? What What's your thoughts on the whole thing with a lot of people, they look at certain artists in hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? It's like once you get to a certain age, they feel like, you you know, you need to just get out of the game. But then you have rockers and stuff like that, people in pop and everything else. They're still doing their thing into their 60s. Um, you should keep doing your thing until it doesn't sound good anymore. <laughs> I, that's when you should stop doing it, when it doesn't sound good anymore. And everybody's going to say that, my dude. Everybody that's 17, 18, 19 will say what I was saying when I was 18, 19. You know what I mean? But once again, the difference is when I was 17, 18, 19, I respected dudes who was young, older than me, but that but was like me as I was younger, like KRS-One, you know, certain other artists, um, Rakim, you know, a lot of these dudes were like how I was, but they were just older. I was a younger version of them. So I respect the true dudes. You ain't got to be 60, 40, 30, or 20. It's not about your age. It's about your character. You know what I mean? So that's why a lot of people like the old man with the white hair that like young people. I'd be like, what's up, young girl? All the old young people like him because he, he let the young people know that it's not about a separation of generation. It's basically about you respecting your elders and me respecting my youth. As long as we respect each other, we good. You know what I mean? Right, right. So so many times I feel like the lyricist is not appreciated in in this whole scheme of things. And, and it's like you said. I mean, people are more or less looking at an image or, or chasing success. So you can't keep saying it's successful. That's like a dude in 2009 talking about how he used to sell packs in 88. This ain't 88. This is 2009, dog. Do you know, do you know how, many jet, how many years went by since you were selling packs? So um, when people say real lyrics or lyrical is them and all that, that, that people got to know that lyrics mean using your mind. That's all it means. It don't mean scientific or lyrical, spiritual. It don't mean, or, I don't know, everybody got their own version, but my version is lyrical is a means to use more than 10 words. Use the vocabulary. Use the dictionary. Use, say more than 10 words. Please stop saying, you know, more wet. Stop mentioning the latest liquor, clothes, sneaker, and car. That, that's all 
a lot of you guys do. You, you, you mention the latest sneaker, clothes, liquor, and car. And that gets boring. I'm not even saying it ain't good, but it gets boring if everybody keeps doing it. Buckshot, we appreciate you taking some time out, checking in. The Bible Skills is in stores now. Ladies and gentlemen, if you really want to know why the buzz is so hot right now in the street, I, I'm proud to say that we did not pay for that. That is natural. That is organic. You can't pay for what's going on with, with you know, Karis one and Buckshot right now. That's a natural, old-school progression, and I thank everybody for bigging us up and supporting that. Once again, if you know, support you know, real hip-hop, and rest in peace to Rock Raider. Go to the website, leave your comments, and let the world know that you care about your DJs, man. All right, Buckshot. Take care, all right? All right, brothers. Be safe, man. Big up. Peace. Peace. On your idiots. 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 On your idiots.